Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and welcome to my new series where I'll be taking you start to finish on my photo shoots. That includes how I find my ideas, how I plan for the photo shoot, contacting models as well as the photo shoot itself and the post-production afterwards on how I edit my photos. Right, so where I find my ideas, social media, best way to find ideas for photography. We've all got it on our phones, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, we've probably got it. My personal favorite is Pinterest. It does cover a lot of the fashion trends as they're coming through and it also gives you the ability to search what you're looking for, as well as you can actually now save into folders and then you can recall them at a later date. And you can add, say, the model into the folder so you can both work on a project and add stuff into that folder. It's also handy to save a few poses on there so if you get a bit flustered on your photo shoot, you can pull it out your back pocket and then you can go from that piece of material that you've already saved and you know you've got something when you need it. So when it comes to looking for models, I tend to use websites such as Purpleport or Model Mayhem. In this case, I decided to go with someone that I'd already worked with before. We met through a friend of a friend and I thought if I didn't ask, I wouldn't know. So this is how it kind of went. Okay, so it's been a couple of days after the shoot and I thought I'd give you a quick walkthrough of my editing, what I do. I've already run my action, which is a kind of a blend of a few different actions that I've had over the years and I've kind of streamlined it down. This tends to be my go-to way of doing things. So starting off with the green in the corner here, we have my cleanup layer. So green for me means go. Um, first layer, as you can see, just zoom in for you. First layer, all it has is general cleanups of the skin area and then it also has zooming back out here just a little bit of balancing on the old leg colors moving on to the eyes didn't actually have to do too much to this image with the eyes but usually I have a sharpen layer down here as well as a whiten layer that I can use to whiten the eyes or teeth if needed and then bring it onto the eyes brighten on this one although they're highlighted I didn't actually add too much to these and then for the final one, I have a curve layer, which is just a little bit of boost on the highlights and the shadows. Um, it just gives a little bit of a lift in the mid range as well. 
and uh, I also apply my LUT at this point which I create in DaVinci Resolve and then I balance it out just using the levels tab and that is pretty much how I edit all my images kind of fortunate now I've got it down to about 20 minutes per image if you'd like to see a little bit more in depth let me know but that's going to be the end of this video and thank you for watching and I hope I catch you in the next one